Okay, guys, we are ready to do week... 21. 21. We're close to being done. Yes, this was a crazy week for us, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, we, we did jumping jacks to kind of get our blood pumping. Um, and... We started out with the Associative Law for Addition, and we tried to do it, after we read it through a couple times, we tried to sing it to a song, and I think I was pretty rattled, and then, to my horror, found that my chart was written wrong. I had missed some stuff, um, and it kind of threw me off guard, and so I, it messed me up for being able to do the song, but I've remade it now. And we've practiced and practiced, haven't we, Amelia? Mm -hmm. So the song that I did, I know this is going to be flipped for you guys probably, but um, the associative law for addition goes something like this. Bump, 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 bump. Opening parenthesis, A plus B. Closing parenthesis plus C e equals A plus opening parenthesis B plus C closing parenthesis. I did not have the kids do the alligator motions. It would have helped me a lot had I done that. Um, but not yeah, yeah, we're doing it now though. So, um, and then the associative law for multiplication goes something like this. Bum, 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 bum. Opening parenthesis, A times B. Closing parenthesis, times C equals A times. Opening parenthesis, B times C. Closing parenthesis. Oh, okay. I think we did that a couple times. Yeah. Um, the YouTuber that I got that from, Eric Fialkoff? Fialkoff? Fialkoff. I don't know. Um, I thought it was fun because it was a little bit of a tongue twister. I had to practice and practice, and I still got it wrong. So, uh, But now that we are over CC Day, I think we're doing a good job on it. Mm -hmm. So, Latin was fun. Um... Instead of reading through it, since this is kind of a review thing, where's Camille? Where's the chameleon? Where did it go? Can I have it, Addy? Yeah. Thank you. So this is my chameleon, and I had the kids take turns hiding it around the classroom, uh -huh. um, and the rest of the class would close their eyes while they were hiding it, and then we would pick one person to go search for it while singing the song. So we got through it a couple times. Here, baby. What's the matter? And when it was my um, last turn, um, I knew where it was because I saw it. Before. Yeah. Ooh, are you peeking? I wasn't are you peeking. I wasn't peeking just before yeah. I sat sat up. Yeah. We decided to move on because we were running late. Um, I think everybody had at least one chance to be the seeker and the finder, but um, a couple people wanted to play it more, so we kind of carried it on to science. Um, what is the third law of thermodynamics? And this is kind of the same as last week um, to the tune of John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. So it goes, third law, law of thermodynamics, it is, it is impossible to reach, reach the state, state of the absolute zero temperature. temperature. La, 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 la. And I've seen where people have had their kid jump up and down when they did the la 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 part so that's kind of fun um get some energy out there but um and then for we did something fun for english i thought um what is a conjunction a conjunction is used to connect words phrases clauses together so this is what i needed your help with amelia to get up a little bit and i had the kids pair up and do oh you want to do it too raise your hands we're gonna do the song um, a conjunction is a word used to connect, connect, connect words or, or phrases, phrases, phrases or clauses together, together, together. A conjunction is a word used to connect, connect, connect words or phrases, phrases, phrases or clauses together, together, together. 
And Anna likes to do it too, but you mm -hmm. can't see her. She's she's too short. Yeah. Amelia, Addie, do you like to do it too? So that's what we did for English. And um, if you guys want, you can go on my YouTube channel and look at my playlists um, and the movies that I've put before this one. Um, we'll explain these, or you can see a second person doing them. Um, let's see, timeline. I'm doing this in different chronological order because my board is different than the paper is. World War Two, and you can do president, or you can do, let's see, president. I think that's the science of president. Are you tired? You're going to be in the movie? <laughs> Um, World War II and President kind of don't have a whole lot of time. So, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, Stalin of the USSR and the Katyn Massacre, um, <clears throat> the United Nations formed, and then the, uh, the Cold, Cold War. Me. The Cold War. If you sing that song fast enough, it sounds like the United yeah. Nations were the ones that formed the Cold War. <laughs> um, and then Gandhi's, Gandhi and India's independence. Um, Jewish state established. We're doing a beard. Jewish state established. Um, and then Mao and communist victory in China. So tracing those buttons on the Chinese clothes. Oh. Um, and then, let's see, the 1980s history song with the Cold War was kind of a tricky one, but it's very much an 80s tune. I don't know if it was like that in the previous editions or not, but um, I think we tried to we tried to do a little bit of hand motions there. Uh, so it goes, in the 1980s, British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, and American President, Ronald Reagan, worked together to end the Cold War. The Cold War. Lessen big government. Strengthen the conservative movement. How does it go? How does the end go? Is that how it goes? Okay. All right. Um, and then uh, when we were done saying and singing that with our, our actions, um, I brought jelly beans and passed it around to the kids because I guess Ronald Reagan was at one time a smoker. And so when he became president, he wanted to cut that habit and he had jelly beans instead. I guess all over the White House, he would have little containers of jelly beans. So I thought that was fun. Yeah, and the jelly beans were <clears throat> in a bottle that mom wore. Yeah, a baby yeah. bottle. I once I won this little bottle filled with jelly beans because it was one of those number games that they do at baby showers. And I never even opened the bottle. I just brought it with me. Because <laughs> we don't do a whole lot of candy. Um, okay, so, and then geography, we did the happy CC mom thing. Um, girls are going to have to help me with this. We we'll practice this one over and over again. Um, so to the tune of the wheels on the bus go round and round. So it goes, oh, Central America, find the, find camel, the camel hump. hump. Nicaragua, Honduras bump. El Salvador trap door. Guatemala, Belize makes a slice of cheese. And those actions kind of help locate those on the map. I think they needed to be flipped, though. I should have taught the kids the other way, because I think that that's where... I don't know. I don't know. I need to look back and see. I may have I may have flipped them a little bit. Um, which should be flipped for you guys. So this should be right. Because <laughs> we're doing it twice. Okay, and then I think that was it. Uh, for a memory game, we played... Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi. Sorry, my oh, daddy. For um, for a Daddy, that's enough, honey. Um, so for the for the review game that we did, we I brought um a llama memory game with the little cards, 
and um, and we kind of played it differently. Um, and we got through weeks twenty, I think. Um, let's see. And then we listened to Brahms Symphony Number no. Four. It's kind of a very light and airy uh, musical number. Oh, and we also learned a little bit about Johann Brahms. I think is his name. Um, we learned about him in our opening assembly. We did a little skit, and that was really fun. Um, learn, I learned some stuff that I didn't know about him. Um, he was a, apparently a perfectionist. And also another one that was a little grouchy. <laughs> um, I guess he wrote quite a bit, but there were many that he ripped in half because they didn't meet his perfective standards. So... Um, Definitely considered one of the greats in classical music. For science, for um, experiment, we did we used um, straws and tape mm -hmm. to try to make a tower mm -hmm. and um, split up into teams again. And some of the kids did really well with that. Some of them didn't. Yeah, we did three and two teams. I think the reoccurring problem is that we... We just run down to the end of our CC day, and we don't have time. So, But I've been doing better and learning tips on how to keep it a little bit more choppy. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, that's what we did this week. Uh, I think I covered everything that I was going to cover. Um, and again, if you want to see a little bit more... Oh, we are trying to, in presentation time, we're trying to cut down the time that the kids use because we have a lot of kids that love to talk. Yes, yeah, so and we do this, like this, the yellow sand comes down, and then when it comes all the way down, it's time for... Uh, we used a timer. Um, we used a sand yeah. timer, and it was a three-minute timer. Mm -hmm. um, and the kids did pretty well with that. Eventually, it wasn't working because we had a couple kids that took like 30 seconds before they were done. <laughs> and so now we had to wait for the sand to go all the way down before we could start. So I think we eventually uh, nixed it at some point. But anyway, yeah. that's kind of what we did. Um, lunch was good. Everything was yeah. good beyond that. And I think I'm going to end this. You guys have a good week and get some rest. And if you want... um. On YouTube, you can um, type in bethanytaylor.com. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh.